Good morning. Good morning. I have had a rough start today. Nothing I did, just some stuff with my husband. So, decided to come on here and talk to y'all and get me out of that uh, realm for a few minutes. So, we're going to do a full face, and I am going to actually put lashes on again. My eyes are getting better. They're not completely. I probably shouldn't do it. But, gee, I've gotten used to wearing lashes now. Can't go without them. Here we go. Awesome. This was my, you know what? My cellar. My cellar. Now we're going to do the Oxyology Toner. Balance out my pH, because I bet my pH is all scattered around right today. <laughs> I've had a rough day already. Hello. Rough day already, but it'll be okay. Hi, Terry. How's your foot? Poor little thing. Been there, done that. Not with a foot, but... I've had three hip replacements, so I know what it's like. This is the toner, Oxyology toner. It has oxygen in it. How cool is that? Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. So soothing, too. I just love it. Mmm. Now, I just got out of the shower, washed my face with a good face wash, and look at this. I'm telling you, my cellar goes below the skin surface. It's like magnets. <laughs> Get all that imperfection. I'm telling you, even if you've washed your face, even if you've used face wash, uh, wipes, whatever, you still need to follow up with my cellar. Look at that. It just blows me away. I have done several videos on that, and I'm thinking, you know, what if I clean my face and use, and after me telling about the micellar and then the pads come out clean, what am I going to say? <laughs> so far, it hasn't happened. I'm telling you, I don't know what it is. Drinking my 98 calorie uh, strawberry wellness shake. Mm -hmm. High protein, and I added some, I had some frozen fruit. It was going to grow legs and walk out of that freezer if I didn't get it start using it <laughs> where was it okay so now let's do a little mesotherapy i'm beginning listen i have got so much skincare if you have any questions about any of the skincare just shoot me the questions i have got so much of it and there's not any of it that i don't like so i'm really in a dilemma i'm just going to mix and match this is global oxygen now oxiology global oxygen all our skincare has the oxygen formula in it, which they are very famous for, patented, and all that good stuff. Uh, so we've got it all covered in our skincare. So a patented formula that shoots oxygen in your skin. This, you've heard me talk about, mesotherapy. If you went to a doctor, they would do this with injections. What I do with my lid. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Hey, hey, hey. Ugh, here we go. Mesotherapy. And you want to do this before you do your moisturizers. And I probably should have done my serums first. But I'll skip the serums today since I've already done this. Uh, this formula enhances your moisturizer. So, yeah. All the good things for our skin. It's very cooling. Very soothing. Mesotherapy. Yeah. My eyes aren't near as red as they were. Still a little red right here. That eye, the eyelash glue is eating me alive. So. I'm going to kind of let that soak in. What kind of moisturizer should I use? You think I'm crazy. 
I know I'm crazy. I have a moisturizer from the Renovage system that the series that is for uh, anybody over 50. I've got this one. I've got the Eye Soul. <clears throat> this is Korean formulas here. This is the Eye Soul Active Face Cream. It's actually Bird's Nest Active Cream. So I've got that one. I have an ISO Hyaluronic Gel Aloe Vera Cream. Not done. And I've got Oceanum so far. I am leaning so much to Oceanum. Hi, Lori. Oceanum has our oxygen formula in it, but it's also got a award-winning, Nobel Prize winning uh, system included. So we've got two of the best worlds here. This is all from the ocean. And then what else do I have? Oh yeah, hang on. This is the actual global oxygen all day face moisturizer here. So you see what I've done and I didn't even realize I was doing it because when I was going along I was add to cart. Oh that sounds nice. Add to cart. I had to cart. And then, of course, by the time I got through, I had all this skincare. <laughs> but I am all about skincare. I think I want to use the bird's nest. I, I, I think it's just a cool thing. And no birds were hurt. So, we'll do the bird's nest moisturizer. Just yep. Okay. Okay. I watched a documentary one time about uh, the bird's nest. It was in some humongous, the largest cave I ever saw in my life. And the natives, it was in a, you know, one of the foreign countries, and, in, and the natives crawled up, shimmied up these huge ropes that went, I tell you, it looked like a mile high. And that's where all those bird's nests were. And you've heard of bird's nest soup? and all of that, they would get up there without disturbing the birds. I don't know, I don't know if they took their nest or if they put them in another nest or just, I'm just putting this everywhere because it feels so good. But anyway, they say nobody was hurt. But I'm talking about, and it was a big honor in this tribe if you got to be the one to climb up this mile or two mile high thing. It was an interesting documentary. Uh, I might uh, I want to search it and, do it and look at it again. But you know they make bird's nest soup, and now they're using bird's nest in cosmetics because of some kind of ingredient that's supposed to make us all young. <laughs> I'm all for that. Anything that talks about use, want to slow it down anyway. Don't forget the back of your hands whenever you're doing your skin cares and stuff. Oh, let me let that set in. Drink my drink. Trying to cool out. I've had a very stressful morning. You don't want to know. You don't want to know what my morning was like. It's really not very shareable. Okay. So now we're going to do primer. I have several primers. Where is my other primer? I'm going to use this primer from Transin. Now this one is a hydrating foundation primer with hyaluronic acid and glycerin. And you know as we age we need to be looking for anything that's got hyaluronic in it. Yeah, because it plumps and helps, you know, with all of the wrinkles and stuff. Plumps it all up. So anything that's got hyaluronic acid in it, we need to be latching on. Now this one is from Transend. Probably didn't need that much. Pretty cool. Uh, so far, my favorite, though, is the Faberlic Blur. That is really awesome. This stuff right here. As you can see, I've been using it the most, but it is called Blur, and I think it actually blurs. It's all supposed to blur, right? 
feels so good. I also have um, a couple of, I got into, not just face cream, but I got into face washes and ordered a bunch of face wash. Uh, one of my favorites, though, is this one right here. I have an extra sitting right here. It's this one from iSoul, and it is pure oil cleansing. Now, when you put this on your face and then you add water to it, it turns into a beautiful oil, sudsy type oil. And when you wash your face off, you would swear you had primer on your face. It's that soft. Yeah. Okay. I am getting tons of messages from my upline. So, guys, let me see what she's saying right quick, okay? Oh, maybe it wasn't to me. Maybe. Okay. It wasn't necessarily to me. So, I didn't turn the notifications off because I was waiting to hear from her about I had a question. She's an awesome upline too. And her upline, which is my, I'm in her second generation. She is already at the top. Emily was a big shot at uh, Avon. And so she came over here to do her thing here. And she's already up. I want to say Ruby or whatever that is. Ruby. So here, Beverly has got what they call a filler. So we are going to try to fill in. If you can look real close, you can see my little fine lines right in here. I'm mainly concerned about that. You can also put it, you know, I've done it here. And they say with consistent use that you'll be able to see a difference. So I'll put a little bit here on my, on my frownies. And Believe me, some of mine takes more than just a surface. Some of mine need like a half a gallon put in the <laughs> ah. The crow's feet, I don't really have any complaints about crow's feet. Because I don't have very many crow's feet. I'm surprised. Because I do try to smile a lot. And I do have big smiley wrinkles, but... Yeah, this is just kind of like, I don't know, it goes on like a concealer, but it's not a concealer. It's a filler, they call it. I also have another product that uh, I need to start working with. It is uh, called Liquid Patches. Yeah, and Liquid Patches, you just put it on and let it dry, and it does the same thing, basically. I've used it. There's no residue. There's no, you know, no deal with that. Okay. Now, this is called Filler, and it's by Fabrileek. Filler. I think I'll use this one, but sometimes I use my uh, hand, my finger. Very liquidy. I'm just trying to press it instead of wiping. One thing I did just just now just now just now realizing I didn't put my eye cream on. Oceanum has an awesome eye cream that helps with fine lines and wrinkles. Also, it helps with dark circles. So, I totally forgot. I should have done it before I did that. But the Fabrileek Oceanum Eye Cream is phenomenal. We'll do it next time. Okay. That was just called a filler. Okay. That, now you can do concealer. I'm first going to do a color corrector, though. This is just a Revlon color corrector. 
you see the little dark areas I do my best to try to cover that up sometimes I do pretty good with it other times not so good but you know they're not bad bad but I notice it now if I didn't have to wipe it in and just leave it like that see you can see the difference but by the time I wipe it in or push it in or whatever then it's then it goes away or lightens or something so I'm going to use my finger with this and I just want it to be smooth and not look clumpy god my fingers are freezing <laughs> We had a rainstorm. We had a rainstorm the other night. Oh my goodness. That wasn't too bad. I left some of it. Now if you wanted to, you could do a little more concealer here. Faberlic has a fabulous liquid concealer. And we can, I don't know, do a little bit underneath the eye and over here. If you wanted to highlight, you could go all the way up here if you wanted to highlight. We're not. And I think I'm not. A little brown spot right there. The uh, filler does really well. I mean, you know. I think... Lost. I have a one little brush that I, if I'm going to use a brush with the concealer, it's my favorite. And do, can I ever find it? I need to dig through all this stuff before, before I come on. I have to grab what time I can grab, you know? Do you guys know what that what that's like? I mean, I, I, I can't really be real picky if there's a window of a few minutes, I have to grab it because I never know uh, what it's going to end up with, what my day is going to be. So, all right. Does anybody have any questions for me? We might be alone. That's okay. I'm used to that. No, people go back and watch the replay, so don't get discouraged if you think nobody's watching you. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm not actually going to use a foundation foundation. I'm going to use this Transcend Powder Foundation. Uh, I like to mention every time that uh, Faberlic is working on their own special foundation. So they're working with some famous makeup artists over in Europe, so yeah. But this is not just a powder, it is actually a foundation. So. Very light. Good coverage. do some cheeks because I don't like being washed out we are just going to st I always start up here instead of doing down here because if you put rosy cheeks here it's going to draw people's attention to this little thing you have here but if you don't have that then by all means do those apples yeah do the apples What is today? Today's Friday. Today's my daughter's birthday. She's 52 today. Wow. 
this was a super special day for me when she was born. She was such a cutie. All my kids were pretty. Okay. All for the face. All for the face. I was actually going to do something else. And then I did that. Oh, well. It's okay. What am I going to use, though, for glue for my eyelashes? Huh? Hmm? I have no idea. What am I going to use? Um... Uh, scraping off these. I'm going to do a little bit of turquoise, I think, and mauve, because that's the colors I'm wearing mostly. So, that's what we'll be doing. I'm going to use this little palette. I used it the other day. Majestic Galaxy. It's got some pretty colors in it. Okay. We're going to do a little bit of primer on the eyes. Faberlic has a liquid primer. So they're not quite, you know what I'm going to do? I'm, they're healing up and then I'm going to mess them up again by putting that glue, but I got to figure out something. I got to put maybe a, a stronger, uh, I'm going to do a stronger liner a thicker liner and then do the glue over that and maybe it will not irritate my eye so we'll see how that works it's not payday yet for me so I can't go and buy that $40 hypoallergenic stuff that actually works but okay we'll let that dry for a second this is Fabri Leaks yes eye primer I'm going to use this pretty, what do you call that, turquoise. I'm going to use this liner. See, we won't do this because I'm doing, yeah, we won't do that. Okay. Kind of letting that dry a little bit. Let me get a little bit of powder to set it. Alright, that supposedly it keeps it from creasing and rolling around and all that good stuff. So, let's do some brows right quick. Yeah, I've kind of gotten light on my brows too. I love this little pencil here. It's super skinny. has its own little spoolie. Uh, it's a push-up. Like that. comes in three shades of brown. This is the dark brown. So we are just going to try to stay with my natural line if possible. Do the upper, then we will do the lower. I have those, uh, the, st the uh, stencil, I have not mastered that yet, yeah, and believe me, it does not work like the commercials, or at least I can't get it to do it. Great concept, and then the stamp I was waiting on. Uh, was so back ordered didn't know when it was going to come back so I got a refund on that that was disappointing but I'm very very, uh, very good they offered the refund so 
they offered, uh, this was Trans Am, they offered a refund or a store credit. So, I probably should have taken the store credit, but I did the refund. But it got there quick. So, no complaints. Alright, so what I did, drew the top, and then drew the underneath, and then kind of started filling in. This is the worst one. My brows are not in this. They're one's, one is higher than the other. This one is very sick. Has a lot of problems. Crazy. This hair right here, I don't know why it's sticking straight up. What does what does that mean? I mean, why is it doing that? I've always chalked it off as the way I sleep. I sleep on my left side, so I've always said maybe that's it. I don't know. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of heavy-duty brow wax on my finger and see if I can make it lay down. Listen, guys, I'm going to talk about joining Faberlic. They are in pre-launch. You know what that means. Faberlic is not new to this business by all means. No. They got, they're in 44 countries, and the U.S. may be the 45th country. I'm not positive about that, but I think so. And they're going to Canada and Mexico, and we're even going to go to some Asian countries, like in 22 or somewhere. There's like, I've heard, haven't heard it from the gospel, but I heard there's over like over 8,000 products and we don't, of course, we don't have that many because the FDA has to put their little finger in every little tiny thing. So it takes a little longer for, you know, for them to get over here. And there's no telling how long they've been working with it already, you know. Probably been already working a couple of years to come here. It's that much. All right, I'm going to line my eye tear line today with a white. And you say, why? Because it's supposed to open up your eyes. If you look real close, you can see it's supposed to open up your eyes. You know, you can use a flesh tone if you want to. I use white all the time. You know what I think I'm going to do? I did this once. Let's try this. I'm going to put it on my lips to make my lips look bigger. And we're going to go on the outer... Doing this, lining your lips like this, helps, uh, they call it smokers, wrinkles here on your lips. It, uh, prevents, <laughs> that looks funny, it prevents that bleeding into those little wrinkles.
And any liner, lip liner, whatever you want to use would work. And then I'm going to use this liner here because it kind of matches my shirt. I'm kind of into that kind of stuff. I do have some liquid, uh, some liquid wax that we will put over the brows. Now, some girls put it before they do their brow makeup. And some do like this, put it after. I like to do it after to kind of feel like it's kind of setting. See, in that other wax I used did not lay those little rascals down. We don't have to have a little talk, Braille. Tell me, what is your problem, huh? What is it? Let me know, and I'll help you, by all means. All right. We're moving right along here now. All I got to work with now is liner, lashes, and lips. And this little liner here I'm going to use on my lash line. And I have several of these awesome liners now and they're so creamy they are work beautifully as eyeshadow yeah you can just put them on up there and it will blend right in see that it blends in really well these you sharpen Very, very pretty. Okay. Now we will do the liquid liner. Uh oh. My Bible study. We will do a liquid liner. And this is a cute liner. I, let me tell you this too. I've got, I've got the regular liner. I've got liquid liner. Uh, knock on wood, they do not bleed. I have a problem with liners bleeding up into that tissue that's so weak. I'm not going to do this. i got to do my eyeshadow. What's the matter with me? How come y'all didn't stop me? Got to do the eyeshadow first, ding-a-ling. Okay. I always, always like to do a base coat. You know that. And you do not have to do a base coat. Totally up to you. I guess I'll do the silver. I did that the other day. We'll do the silver base coat. Uh, because it's very pretty. And very pigmented. If I'm not mistaken, I think I left it on the lid like this. But we're going to flip my brush over and I'm just going to bring it up. Not going to add more product, but I'm just going to bring it up over. And I might end up putting some white or something up there. Very pretty. Pigmented. I love it when my shadows are pigmented because that makes me feel like I'm getting my money's worth. If I get these shadows to work good, Lord, you just can't get anything on there. It just drives me crazy. I feel cheated when that happens. I truly need an intervention anyway. This would be really cool for a smoky eye, you know, the silver wood. But that's not going to be my emphasis today. I want the blue shine all right now I'm going to use this turquoise in here there and it looks very pigmented so I'm going to go easy 
to start with. Will be easy to start with. Almost to the center, not quite. And I'm tapping it instead of brushing it. And then coming up over the bone. Up we go, up we go. And kind of over my crease here, lightly. Okay, do the other side. Uh, if you guys are on the fence about joining Fabri League, they have a special going right now. They did not do this when I joined in October. But a new customer or a new consultant, soon when you sign up and you make your order, if you make a $200 order, you will get $100 off. They'll put that $100 in your, in your uh, basket when you start to check out. So you get $200 worth for $100. A good night. Um, and that's for, and plus, if you're a customer, you get 20%. So that's in addition to your 20%. And if you are a consultant, that's in addition to your 26%. And also counts towards your, you know, your PV and your, all that other comp plan stuff. Hey, I don't understand all this comp plan stuff, but I know people that do. And I got videos. It's just my brain is so full of life right now. I'm telling you, it's I'm doing good to get up and get things going like I'm supposed to, you know. Oh, all right. So I'm gonna put a little more silver and kind of blend that in a little more. I don't think I need another dimension color. At this point, you could. Uh, there's a purple in here. I might. I'll show you what I'm talking about. You could put like a little bit of purple. And we could do that. Let's see what happens. Put a little bit of purple because these two colors just really do go well together. the turquoise right there but you can do the purple on the outer edge kind of made it darker can you see that just kind of looks like I need to add some more turquoise on this one looks like I've just about covered it up how do I do that? Okay. Let me get a little more of the turquoise on this one eye over here. It's so funny. It looks... The lighting is just like... Give me a break. Okay, now I'm going to get a clean brush. And we're just going to do some blending. And I'm going to start blending with the lighter color over here first. Just this silver. And then we'll work on that. I 
Okay. Now at this stage, at this point, you could put glitter, you know, you could do some glitter on your lids or whatever, which I'm not going to do today, but you could. I am going to put some white right under the brow bone, right in here. I'm really big about doing that because I can see the difference. I'll show you. See, I like that that look right there kind of bleh, right there my daughter's in there cooking some food and it smells good but she's not cooking it for us her aunt and uncle very elderly they now have COVID. So she is taking food over there. This is this cute little palette here that I used. Okay, now it's time to do the liner. Still undecided about which glue to use. Oops, wrong end. This little thing has got a cute watch little star. It's a little stencil thingy. Didn't know that when I ordered it. So let's get some of this on. And I might do two coats. Let's see if I can protect my eyeball. Looks pretty thick, so maybe that'll help protect my eyelid. We will see. Okay, I am going to do some tight lining, I think. Whew. Looks pretty made up. little bit of tight lining anyway. Tight lining is supposed to help your lashes look thicker. Okay. Now I'll do a little mascara. I just do a little when I do lashes. I think I'm going to stick with this long and strong. Because it has some growth stuff in it. It's got a real narrow comb like. And we're just going to go underneath. Just so my lashes will blend in with the fake lash. This comb like brush does make it a little easier to do your lower lashes. That's all I'm going to do now. 
Okay, so wish me luck on this. I'm telling you, this is actually the only glue I do have. Let's see, it's the only glue I got this, but the last time I tried to use it, it was kind of dried out. Let me try it again. This is from Fleeky Friday. Dang. I guess it's still there. This is liner glue. I don't know if I got enough of it. To hold the lash. I think the last time I tried to use this, I ended up having to put some more of that duo over it. Trying to figure out which is which. I don't know where I got these little lashes. The mall, probably. They're old. Can't wait to get my new lashes in. Got some lashes from Transcend. Coming. Well, it seemed to have grabbed it. Maybe it's going to work. Probably should order some more of this stuff because I don't think it broke me out. I don't think. Yeah, let's see. I wish I could use my fingers. I don't do good using my fingers. I can use my fingers after I get them on there and get them started, but not just initially, like some girls can do. See, this doesn't want to stick. See there? This is what happened to me last time. Oh dear, okay. Weird. One would work and the other one doesn't. Got to use regular glue. Maybe I'll just use a little bit. This is Duo Quick Set. It says five second glue. Maybe this will do it. At least it sat down. Oh, I need to make sure I'm setting it on that liner. The whole purpose is to stay away from my skin, right? I 
think it's on there. This is Marsha Holland talking from Texas. <sighs> from Texas, playing in makeup. If you have any questions, do not hesitate. I believe it only cost $28. Now, I don't know how long they're going to have that. I hope it's forever, but $28 to join, and that's for a year. And you get a free website and all this stuff. That's a pretty color. Let's see what the other one looks like. I've got two here that I haven't used yet. Look at this one. Magnet. That's pretty cool. This is more of a nudish. Nudish. Is that a word? So let's try the other one. I need color. I look washed out in nude. See which one this is. Ooh, do my lips look fatter? Let me get my glasses on. I want to see what this one is. It's so creamy. This one is Kiss Proof Glam Teen Long Lasting Matte Lipstick, and it is called Velvet Nude. And the number is, I can barely see it, 40969, I think. No, 40947. <laughs> 40947. Anyway, now it's a matte, so you know I'm not wild about matte. I, I love matte. I love the fact that it stays on a long time and all that good stuff, but... If it dries out, I don't like that feeling when it dries out. I don't believe this one is going to dry out. It still feels creamy. But you know what I love to do? I love to put some beautiful glosses on. And I have two. Now, I need to order Faberlic glosses, but I got some so close to the same color. They're not the same color, but they're very close to the same color. And I'm sure you've seen me. Look at that. How did I do that? I don't know. <laughs> but then I have a couple here from um, Transcend, too, that is, is cool. I've got a matte from them. And then I've got these two uh, glosses. And they are called Hydra Gloss. This color is called Adore You. And this color is called Gleam, I believe, but they're Hydra Gloss. But look, aren't they pretty? If you do that, you want to make sure that you are letting your matte dry before you do it. And note, too, that if you put something over a matte that is supposed to last a long time and you put a gloss over it, it's still going to last longer than ordinary lipstick, but it's not going to last as long as it would last if you didn't put that on it but I'm gonna put some on it anyway cuz I like it so we are just going to mm -hmm. mm, so creamy this is from transcend most of today was from pharmacy. A pharmacy. See, I've done that three times now. <laughs> Faberlic. Lordy, mercy, help me. <laughs> They're too close. This one I love because you can really get fancy with this one. Watch. This is the gold.
I don't get fancy with it, but you know what I mean? Isn't it pretty? All right, guys. I am done. Can you believe I am done? Anybody have any questions? Don't hesitate to message me. If I've missed them here on the live, I will definitely answer you in comments. Hello, everybody. Hello. Let's see if I missed anything. My little scroller thingy don't work right. I'm going to put my uh, websites. Now, let me tell you. Let me tell you what I did. I went to GoDaddy and I used, I changed my Fabrileek link because it was long. I changed it to just my MarshaHolland.com one. So hopefully it works and takes us to the right place. But if you have any problems with that one, don't hesitate to ask. And then the Transcend one is pretty simple. So I just kind of, you know, I left it alone because it wasn't too bad at all but it is this one right here okay did they show up yeah there they are they are pretty deborah are you taking care of your skin girl are you taking care of your skin because let me tell you i am a big advocate for skin care I love makeup. Makeup is fun, but skincare is the most important thing to do. Yeah, so you need good skin. It just makes the makeup look better, right? Mm -hmm. This is my breakfast Fabrily uh, Wellness Shake Strawberry. I got a cappuccino one coming. I got this tap brow thing, but. I couldn't do it. I made a mess. I need I need to practice more, I guess. But oh, I made a mess. All right. Nobody has any questions. I want to thank you for coming and send people my way. I'm trying to get my uh, group to where that's the only place I'm actually doing my lives and things that and YouTube. So send people to my group. Uh, I will accept them. And I will talk to you guys later. Marsha Holland, Glam Memo. And thank you so much for coming. Thank you. I love you. Bye.